Hello everyone, welcome to my project ideas channel. Today we'll learn how to make a notepad using TK Engine module in Python. So let us begin. So for this, first of all, you need any IDE or any code editor like over here I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor. After it, you need to install the TK Engine module. So for it, simply type the pip install TK in your command prompt and I have already installed it and hence it's showing that requirements already satisfied. So now let us see our code. So this is our code. Over here what we have done is, first of all we have imported some modules. First one is the OS module that will help us in getting better portability over, uh, over different platforms. The second one is the TK Inter module. Over here we are using the message box and file, file dialog functions in this. Now in this not paid class what we have done is, we have uh, set the default width and height of it. After this, the text area will be included in this text function and the menu, file, edit and help are the four features in the notepad that we have used as a part of menu edge. Now, the scroll bar we are over adding over here, just like you can see over here there is an one scroll bar and the same here as well we are including. Now, as you can see over here, one icon is there. In the same way, we are also setting one icon using this bitmap. After this, we are also setting the title of the widget that is untitled notepad initially. Now, after it, we are returning the number of pixels of width and height of the notepad screen in pixels. And for the left and right alignment, we are using this formula. After this, we are setting the geometry of this form over here. These are the numbers that, that uh, in these, these will be passed inside this. So, first one is the width of the notepad the second one is the height it will grow in width width cross height and then we will be adding the left and top in this way we are setting the geometry after it we are auto resizing the text area using this row configure and column configure function after it to position a widget in the parent widget in the grid we are using this function now this is something that what we are doing exactly in the notepad so these are the few commands that we are adding. First one, inside this, using this add cascade, uh, we will define the hierarchical menu item. So inside this file, exit, save, open and new options will be there. Now in the similar way, in this edit, paste, copy and cut will be there. And the similar way, in this help, about notepad will be there. Now after this what we are doing is we are configuring the menu bar and scroll bar of this notepad using this configuration and pack functions. Now to adjust the scroll bar automatically we are using this configure function. Now these are the definitions of the functions that we are executing in this way. So to exit the application we are using this destroy function. To show the about message we are using show info function. And to open the file in the notepad, what we are doing is we are using this ask open file name function. It will ask like which file you need to open. So the default extension will be .txt. And there will be two file types. First is the all files using dot extension and the text document set is .txt. Now to select the final component path name, we are using this. Now what we are doing here is if we will select any file name then it will be uh, it will be its base name and in the title of it the base name will be there and after this notepad will be appended next to it. In this way we are opening the file. Now to open a new file what will be the, uh, this will be the initial phase. If you will open any file it will be by default new file and it will be untitled notepad. Now to save a file we are using this ask save as file name function which will ask us for a file name to save as. Uh, these are some of the parameters that are included in that. This one is the initial file that will be untitled one and the default extension will be .txt in all, them, in all of them. And these are the file types that we have used prior as well. So over here to change the window title, the same function we are using, we are using this base name 
and we are appending this not paid to it. Then we are opening it, writing it and closing it. Now to cut this, to cut, copy and paste for this all of these functions, we are using this event generate. Now to run the application, what we are doing is, we are simply uh, looping this and we are using this dot run function and it will run. Now let us see how exactly it will execute it. So for it, I am clicking on run. As you can see, initially it is untitled notepad. Now if I want to type anything over here, then I am able to type, for example, this is paste. Now I am clearing as well. Now let me show you, this is the new file. It is by default. Now if I want to open any file, then I can open as well. If I want to save this file, like for example over here, I have written something and I want to save it. So it will give me that untitled file initially. I want If I want to change, then I can change it to some file. And these are the two options that I will get. First is the all files and the second, is, second one is the text document. Now if I will click on exit, I will get exit and I will get exit from it. Now in the edit, there are three options, cut, copy and paste. I have already copied one line, so if I will click on paste, it will get pasted. Now in the help, I will click on not, about notepad. So it will show that this is a notepad using tkinter module in Python. So in this way, using this only even less than 172 lines of code, we have implemented a notepad using tkinter module in Python. Thank you.